Hi guys, it is a cloudy, gloomy day here in the end times in Ithaca, New York, where it is 63 degrees. 63 degrees in June. I think that uh, today is Thursday, could be June 9th, it could be June 10th, 2022. Who knows? So, anyway. Guys, or should I say ladies, I have a proposition for all the Doomer chicks out there. And here, here is the deal that I will pay you, I will pay you 2.65 million dollars, 2.65 million dollars, and here's all you need to do. We need to have sex in your car, okay? You need to have sex with me in your car, in your insured car, and uh, you need to have some sort of clap. You have to have an STD and an insured vehicle. This is, these are the requirements, and I'm going to make the requirement that you're female, although I don't know. Uh, 2.65 million dollars maybe I'll make an exception so anyway here's the deal uh, we hook, hook up literally in your car you give me whatever kind of clap it is you have I don't care I don't give a damn what it is you can give me fucking monkey pox or whatever the hell you got crawling all over that little uh, cooter of yours so you give me the clap then what I am going to do is sue your insurance company for $5.2 million. We're going to sue your insurance company for $5.2 million uh, after you give me a uh, clap uh, in your insured vehicle and then when I get the $5.2 million, I will give you half of it. And we will split it. I mean, you've already got fucking clap, darling. Uh, so I just need you to uh, give me clap, but you have to give it to me in your car. Uh, and we are each going to walk away from this deal with $2.6 million. This is my new uh, brainstorm after reading the mainstream media uh, this morning. I don't know if you saw this story. Not sure it was the number one story on the planet. Where was this? I think it was in Tennessee. Tennessee or Arkansas, one of those hillbilly states where this woman, uh, I'm a that they didn't go into great detail in the story so this woman meets this guy probably on pile of fish so they they literally hook up in his car they fuck in his car which never has been uh, you know fucking in a car I've never really understood what that's all about uh, it's not that easy to fuck in a car but anyway uh, they went she, I guess she didn't know the guy very well, so uh, they fuck in his car, and he's insured by Geico, uh, and so from that one sexual encounter in his car, she got some sort of clap. I can't remember which one. You, you know, one of the common ones, just one of the garden variety uh claps I don't even know which one it was so she sues the she sues I don't know if she sued him directly or she found the lawyer but anyway they sued the insurance company they sued Geico uh, for millions of dollars uh, and, and damages that she was injured in his car. You understand, well, I'm assuming the car was not moving. I'm assuming the car was parked. 
Uh, it did not, uh, it was, you know, there was no wreck. There was no damage from a collision to the car or to this woman. Uh, she was just so fucking horny. She couldn't uh, wait to, you know, to get a goddamn room. She fucks the guy in his car. And so she claims that she was injured in his car and sued him. Uh, I, I don't know what the original uh, amount she was asking for. But anyway, so she wins in the lower court. And so, of course, Geico appealed. And this was the appellate court uh, upheld the lower court decision. And Geico is going to pay $5.2 million uh, to this horny little slut. Uh, she's walking out of this deal with $5.2 million fucking dollars in her hand. Uh, imagine the fucking precedent this is going to set. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be uh, people giving each other clap all over the goddamn planet uh, in cars. Uh, so anyway, ladies, uh, if you want to earn $2.6 million, uh, pretty easy. Just... Uh, Make sure you have clap, number one. Uh, fuck me in your car, and uh, we will, uh, it would probably be good if you had Geico, I guess. Uh, can you imagine now that, that every insurance policy from this point forward being written uh, that the uh, medical or personal liability, whatever they call that coverage, is going to have to have an exclusion for uh, <laughs> for fucking uh, in, a, in a parked car. And then, of course, the story right next to that one, uh, I don't know if you saw this story uh, coming out of, uh, <clears throat> where was it? Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where this couple... Uh, going down the damn road and uh, the article was funny as hell how they uh, how they had fun how they carefully worded this but what was going on is uh, this chick was giving this dude a blowjob while he was driving uh, she was giving him a blowjob and I don't know if it's when he came in her damn mouth or, or what but he, you know, he went over the, the damn line, had a head-on collision uh, with a FedEx delivery truck uh, with his dick uh, in this chick's mouth. And as they say, they, they very delicately worded it where he sustained, uh, he sustained a serious groin injury but it did not uh, appear that it was going to affect his future reproductive capabilities. <laughs> so it sounds like he just about got his dick bit off. And they actually had the, the photograph, uh, I mean, not up close, and you could see the woman and the man. Uh, I, I mean, you look at the damn car, and they were both, uh, you know, where the whoever had pulled them out of the car and they were lying on the, you know, on the shoulder of the road. Both of them had their damn pants down around their knees. You could see in the photograph that uh, th their pants uh, rolled around their knees. You couldn't actually see the blood on the dude. Good God. Back when uh, I had sex in moving vehicles, uh, you know, in the last, the, sometime in the last millennium, I remember uh, with Lynn Macon in her little yellow Volkswagen where uh, she was driving. And it was just my hand, you know, it's not like we were fucking or anything. Uh, it was just my hand. 
uh, from the passenger seat and uh, she came while she was driving and, and smashed right into <laughs> right into the fortunately we were we were like in traffic and heavy traffic in atlanta georgia she smashed into the into the car uh in front of us and uh she's sitting there trying to fucking butt her pants up and shit and uh god it was funny fortunately the uh the people in the front car uh, we're not that concerned about the minor damage to their rear bumper, but anyway, there, there's a lot more people uh, having sex in their cars than you realize, and I would highly suggest uh, that you get out there and, and enjoy having sex in your car while you still can. And if you can walk away from the deal with clap and 2.6 million dollars in your pocket, more power to you. But, uh, I gotta head it on back to Bugs and a Jar Farm. Coming back from Home Depot with nine more bags of concrete. Tiny houses are going up bit by bit and uh, I have to get brother Alistair to carry nine bags of concrete up the side of this muddy ass mountain anyway okay ladies you know how to find me if you want to take me up on my offer bye guys